Would you ever date a man less ambitious than yourself? No. We're going to hear more from her later, but first, it is that time again. It's that time where you can ask me your own personal question and I'm going to send you a personal response. If there's ever been a question that you want to ask me, some topic you want my opinion on, some personal problem you're having in your dating life that you need some advice on, now is your chance. Last time I did this, there were about 40 or 50 people who took advantage of the offer. It was an absolute marathon for me. I did it for two days straight, but it was actually a lot of fun answering all those questions. And it was really good market research because it helped me understand what are the problems that you guys are facing? What are you really interested in hearing about? So I'm doing it again as a thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. So if you support me on Patreon, you have 24 hours to send me your personal question. Any topic you want, and I will send you a personalized response. If you're not yet a Patreon supporter, it's all good. You have 24 hours from the time that this video was published to sign up. I do have to put a time limit on this just for practical reasons, but if you've been waiting for your chance to support this channel, now is your opportunity. Sign up now, get your own personalized response to your own personal question. All right, onto the video. Every man wants to be loved. That is a universal truth. We want affection. We want admiration. We want someone to care about us and to love us. But a high quality man goes one step further than that because his desire for love is an expression of his high self-esteem. He doesn't just want to be loved, he wants to be loved in a very specific way. Let me explain what I mean. Did you know that celebrities, even though they're rich and famous, are some of the most miserable people on our planet? There was a study done in 2014 on depression amongst celebrities, and it demonstrated that if you are famous, if you're a celebrity, you are five to ten times more likely to die an unnatural death, things like suicide and overdose, than the general population. Now, to some people, this seems completely bizarre. They can't make sense of it. They think the celebrity is loved by everybody. Why would they be depressed? But the truth is that love isn't enough. Celebrities understand this because they've experienced it. Just having blind love doesn't actually fulfill you. You need a very specific type of love. If you have agents and managers and, and publicists creating this glamorous image of you that's then fed out into the public, all of the love and adoration that you're receiving, it's all for that image. It's not about the real you. The image becomes more powerful than the real person, which creates feelings of isolation and loneliness, that sense that nobody knows the real me. Now, when it comes to dating, this is a problem faced by a lot of wealthy men. See, they have a different problem to a lot of guys. They don't have difficulty getting dates. They don't have difficulty attracting female attention because, you know, they're wealthy and women are attracted to wealth. Let's go back to that woman from the start. Let's listen to the clip of her explaining why she's attracted to a man with money. Would you rather date someone who's poor and happy or wealthy and stressed? Oh, wealthy and stressed, I'm sorry. I, can't I would rather cry in my Ferrari than cry in a taxi. Like, honestly, guys, think about it. You're going to have problems either way, whether you're rich or poor. But at least when you've got money, you can you can do things to give you temporary happiness. I actually admire her honesty. I don't really have a problem with her response. When faced with a direct choice between a man who is poor but happy and wealthy and stressed, she chose the man who is wealthy and stressed. I mean, all power to her. She has her reasons. But I wouldn't personally date a woman who answers this way because it's not in my value system. And I'll explain why. The issue faced by a lot of wealthy men is that they don't know if the woman who is sitting across from them in the restaurant actually likes them or if they're just in it for the money, if they're just a gold digger. Just this morning, I had a text from one of my clients, one of the guys I do these private consultations with, and he's telling me that he called a woman a gold digger and he was explaining the fight. He said that she was constantly asking him how much his net worth was and trying to get drinks out of him. And when he called her on it, she said, you're creepy, and you know, he tried to get him kicked out of the club. It annoyed him, and I understand why. I mean, yes, he's a wealthy guy, but it's insulting to him that a woman is just seeing him in terms of the size of his wallet. Now, maybe to your average Joe on the street, he can't understand why wealthy guys would have this problem. He's probably thinking, but that's the reason for making all this money, is so that women will be attracted to you. What's the problem? Who cares if she only likes you for your wealth? You know, as long as she has sex with you, what do you care what her reasons are? But a high quality man is different. A high quality man doesn't think like that. A man of self-esteem wants more than that. He wants the woman that he's with to look deeper. He wants her to look beneath the surface and to try and see what makes him truly unique. It is not uncommon for some wealthy men to hide the amount of money that they make from prospective dates, simply because they don't want that to be a distraction. It's almost a test that he gives her. 
You know, is she gonna like me for me? I have done private consultations with guys who tell me that they don't share what they do for a living with prospective dates. You know, they don't tell women what their job is. And it's not because they don't have an impressive job. It's because they have a really impressive job and they don't want the woman to know that yet. So here's the question you need to ask yourself. How do you want to be loved? I know that you want to be loved, but I mean, how specifically? Do you want a woman to be attracted to you because of your genetics, you know, because you're physically good looking? Do you want a woman to be attracted to you because of the size of your wallet, how much money you make? Or are you looking for something deeper? Do you want to be loved and admired for your intelligence, your creativity, your kindness, your compassion, your ethics? Do you want to be loved and admired for how much self-esteem you have, how much in a piece you have. What it really comes down to is this. What part of yourself do you most identify with? What aspect of your personality feels like the real you? Who are you at the core? And don't you want a woman to love you specifically for that? Because for a man of high self-esteem, nothing else is satisfying. Sure, you might be good looking and you might make a whole lot of money, but if that doesn't define you, if you don't really feel like that's a real you, you feel like what makes you unique is your courage and your determination to always do what's right. And if you're dating a woman who doesn't see that, she doesn't have the capacity or the interest in seeing that part of your personality, you're not going to feel loved. It's going to be a very unsatisfying relationship and you're going to end up feeling depressed and lonely. This is why self-awareness is the key. And that's why I'm telling you to stop whatever you're doing right now and ask yourself this question. How do I want to be loved? What part of me do I want her to love and admire? This is the approach of a high quality man with strong self-esteem. And as a bonus, it's a great protection against low quality women. You see, if you've never given any thought to how you want to be loved, then you're vulnerable to being sucked in by the first woman who shows you any affection, even if it's completely superficial. Always remember this, superficial people are attracted to superficial qualities. But if you have as a minimum requirement for being in a relationship with you, that a woman sees, understands, loves, respects, and admires the deeper parts of your personality, those things that really make you unique, then you're automatically gonna weed out all the low quality women who lack that capacity. If they can't see what specifically makes you so awesome, then they failed the test and you can say goodbye to them. Now, if this is something that you're struggling with, you know, you don't have any clarity on how you want to be loved, but you want to find that, but you need some help, go ahead and contact me for a private consultation over Skype and we'll sort you out. Also remember, from the moment that this video is published, you have 24 hours to sign up to my Patreon page. Then as a special sign up bonus, you can send me a personal question and I will send you your own personalized answer. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you again next time.